What should a diabetic diet consist of? Most of the time when we say a patient is diagnosed with diabetes, diet becomes a huge burden for them to adhere to. Diabetic diet is not different from a normal diet. It just means a healthy diet. It means choosing the right portions, choosing the right kind of food. So if a diabetic patient is able to adhere to three main meals a day, with having at least 50% of his diet of proteins, 30% of carbohydrates and 20% made of fat, that should be an ideal diet. And a diabetic should remember not to take any direct sweets which have an impact on the blood sugar in that it causes the spikes. That's the only reason. Whenever they feel like having a sweet, they can instead opt for fruits or they could Early diabetics or well-controlled diabetics can opt for alternatives like say maple syrup or honey to give the sweetness in their diet. With an increasing uh, age of uh, pregnancy in women, we are finding an increasing incidence of diabetes. This could either be diabetes with pregnancy when a diabetic woman is be becoming pregnant or it could also be an increased incidence of gestational diabetes. The increasing incidence of both of these means that the outcome is going to be affected. Now how do we ensure a healthy outcome? As soon as a woman is diagnosed with diabetes. As soon as a woman is detected to be pregnant, I suggest that we start monitoring their blood sugar levels also. It shouldn't happen that only by the fifth or the seventh month they do the blood sugar levels and by then they find that the sugars are very high. We would suggest that a gynecologist should start checking the blood sugars at the time of the onset of pregnancy itself and make it mandatory in people with a family history of diabetes, obese women or late onset of pregnancy. They should have the sugars monitored at every monthly visit to detect diabetes at the earliest. This will ensure a healthy outcome of pregnancy. understand that diabetes is a growing burden in India and also we are seeing an increasing incidence with the lowering age of onset of diabetes. Maybe a decade ago it was very common for people in their 50s to be detected with diabetes. Nowadays we find it common for people in the late 30s and 40s to be detected with diabetes and most of this is asymptomatic diabetes detected on routine investigations. This means to say that people are unaware of the symptoms to look out for, that's one thing. And second, diabetes is catching them unawares very early on. But we also know the risk of diabetes is increasing. For the risk of pre-diabetes is also increasing. Now, how do we arrest this? Is there may be a few medications which are said to prove to prevent the progression of pre-diabetes to diabetes but apart from medication there's a lot more that can be done the first and primary thing is to get the patient into a healthy eating and active lifestyle an active lifestyle says having at least 30 to 45 minutes of physical activity every day this can be in any form it can be a person who is busy at work even walking up and down the stairs or it could be taking up any regular kind of an exercise schedule. But as long as they are physically active for at least 45 minutes per day, which can be sustained for at least 5 days a week, reduces the risk of progressing to diabetes by at least 50%.